show. I'm your host, Clay Contreras. And Natalie Maris. And we're going to talk about Homecoming and Spirit Week. And Poland's decision to leave our conference. And we also had a little fun with the freshmen. Stay tuned. Oh, what's up, Canfield? Didn't see you there. My name is Nate Cordova, and for this portion of the show, we're going to show you guys everything you need to know about 2017's Homecoming. To start off, my good friend JP will interview Mrs. English about the theme, the pricing, and what you need to expect. So get ready and enjoy. It is a night with the stars, so there's going to be red carpet and paparazzi and, you know, the, um, like the old Hollywood stars on the ground. There will be a photo booth with props, so get ready. Okay, so homecoming is Saturday, October 7th. It's from 7 to 10. You have to stand in line, you have to get breathalyzed. You're gonna need your tickets with you. Tickets are $15 a piece. If you are a student council member though, your tickets are only $10 for you. Okay Nate, so what did you think about the music last year at homecoming? Well, I thought it was okay, but I believe it could be better. Yeah, there was a lot of controversy last year about the music selection at homecoming. So this year we decided to go around and interview students about the music that they want to hear this year at homecoming. And we also interviewed the DJ himself, Skylar Smith. Okay, so we have a student DJing, so it's going to be a really fun time. Going into this homecoming, I'm completely changing up how I do things. Definitely something from High School Musical. I'm a big fan of Big Time Rush. I think we should have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Fergalicious by Fergie. <laughs> uh, Kiwi by Harry Styles. Cool. One song would probably be Bank Account by 21 Savage. <laughs> okay. It's really fun. Goals would be outstanding and basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to basically take the roof off this place. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Um, there'll be you know, some little candy sitting around and, and water and things like that. Uh, but you want to dress nice, so you want to dress to impress. So boys, I do believe, wear um, suits and girls wear fancy dresses. Um, school appropriate. Okay guys, thanks for watching this segment of the show. And we'll see you on October 7th at Homecoming. This segment will be about the Spear Week change that's occurring for this year's 2017 school year. In case you don't know, it's changed from basketball to football and we're seeing what people think about it. Let's go! ask you a few questions about Spear Week. Yes. So do you really know about any of the changes? I know it's moved to Poland Week, uh, but that is a good question for Mrs. Gibbs. Um, we thought you were the head of the change. No, sir. <laughs> do you know anything else about who else might have changed it or anything? I don't. I, I know it was a group effort, uh, and I am not part of that group. All right, thank you. Yep. So, Ms. Williams, uh, what about the idea of changing Spirit Week? There has been a lot of conversation the past few years between admin and different students on trying to get a change. Um, we feel that it's best for football season just because more students go to the games. It's a little bit more responsive. So we're going to give it a try this year. Um, so personally, do you agree with the change or would you still like to have it at basketball? I'm excited to have it for football season. We're still hoping to do some sort of rally for basketball season as well. 
but I think it's going to be responsive for the students, and that's what it's all about. Um, are there going to be any changes during the week of Spirit Week? We're going to follow the same schedule. So Monday we will decorate after school, and then we will still have class color day, class theme, school theme, and then red and black on Friday. Hi. So, Coach Muck, um, do you agree with the change from Spirit Week being changed from basketball to football this year? Sure. I, uh, I think that what's going to happen is because it's in the fall, and it's right at the beginning of the school year, I think what we're going to find is there's going to be more student participation in getting into Spirit Week. I think by the time basketball rolls around and having you know two boys games, two girls games, and all the games in between with the freshmen and girls and boys, I think everyone's just a little bit uh, you know, filled up with, with things to do, and, and it makes it a little bit tougher for kids to get there for Spirit Week during the winter time. Um, so now with the change being to football, do you think they should add anything for basketball season? Um, well, again, I think that uh, you know, having maybe some type of a pep rally, you know, maybe during Poland week or something like that would be good. Uh, you know, from a coach's standpoint, I think that uh, you know any other distractions for players could be detrimental to really what we're doing out there. So I think a pep rally is just something that I'd be perfectly fine with. Do you know about the Spirit Week change? Yeah, I know of it. I don't know like when we're having it, but I know it's in football instead of basketball. Do you agree with it switching from basketball to football? Um. Like, obviously, I'm biased. Like, I'd rather have it at football just because I play football. Do you think that uh, we should add something, like, spirit-wise to the second semester? Yeah, like, I, I feel like we should do uh, two spirit weeks just because, like, obviously, it's really awesome in winter and stuff like that. But if we change like, if they want to just change it to football, then there's, like, a huge void in winter sports. They're not going to, like, spirit for that, too. So if they could, like, somehow do both, like, that would work out for both seasons. I think that would be probably what's best. Are you aware of the spirit week change? Yes, I know it got moved for football for Poland League. As a basketball player, do you agree with this change? Yeah, it's fine. You know, it doesn't really bother me. It's all right. So, like, do you think that we should add something, like, something with spirit for the second semester? We should for sure have two spirit weeks, one for football and then one for basketball. On this segment, we talked to a couple coaches and staff members about their opinions on Poland leaving our conference. I was shocked. I think that the first thing was thinking about, you know, you come to a school like Canfield, this is my eighth year here in Canfield, and all you hear about is the Poland Canfield rivalry, and you hope that it never goes away because certainly not for coaches, teachers, or whatnot, but certainly for my players, both older and younger, because those younger players may not have the opportunity to take part in what I feel is a great experience in playing. It's a great rival between two great schools and just experiencing that that type of atmosphere. I believe that their, their reasoning right from the get-go is the fact that they think that they're, they're going down in enrollment and um, we're bigger by enrollment, which isn't necessarily true. Um, but I think what's also happening is maybe their talent level is going down a little bit so they feel that they can't compete with the bigger schools like Howell and, and, and us in Canfield. At this moment in time, there are no guarantees for anything. I mean, I, I know that we're going to be playing them this year, and that's really all I know. Um, you know, if, if football's going to play them, then I guess we'll have the opportunity to play them, but we'll just have to see what what's in store. My initial thoughts are that um, good for them. Go ahead and leave. It uh, says a lot about them, a lot of stuff I can't say right here because Coach Pavlansky would not appreciate it, but go ahead and leave. You know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll give him a nice parting gift this year and next year, and then then uh, and they can go on their way. They can go on their way. Well, if they don't get enough wins in their conference, that's just because they're not very good. Um, you know, this was an issue for them previous to the last couple of years. So again, if they're not getting enough wins in the conference, it's that's that's a problem that. They got to fix because they're just not very good. I don't care what conference they go into. If you're not good, you're not going to win. I mean, they're better this year, but you know, we'll still beat them. But uh, you don't leave just because you can't win. Yeah. You just get better. I was very, very disappointed uh, when it came down to the fact that uh, Poland, along with a number of other schools from the All American Conference, uh, decided to break away and form their own conference because that has significant effect 
you know, effects on us. Next year, we'll play them in football. That's the one agreement that had, uh, had remained, is that we'll play them in football uh, just like we do this year. Uh, next year, we'll play them uh, the last game of the regular season just like we do this year. A disappointment. Um, you know, we've been playing Poland since 1944, uh, every year in football and I believe basketball also. Uh, we've been in a league since 1973 together. We've changed leagues together. We've always been, um, you know, two school systems, two communities that are very alike that, you know, travel together. Um, we've been trading that trophy for the uh, football basketball game since 1968. You know, and to hear that it's going to come to an end um, it is truly disappointing. This segment includes interviews with seniors about how they feel about senior year and the college process. Let's see what they have to say. So Ikra, now that you're a senior, how do you feel about your senior year? Um, it's, it's a lot of work and it's kind of stressful, but I'm excited. Um, have you started your application for college yet? I have, yeah. Uh, what colleges are you applying to? Well, uh, Ohio State, Michigan, University of Pittsburgh, ISU, a couple more. Uh, which one would be your preference out of those? I'd say Ohio State probably. It's most familiar with me. I'm most familiar. Do you feel like you've been prepared for college? Uh, for the most part, educationally, yeah, but I haven't had to make friends since like fifth grade. Alright, so now that you're a senior, are you excited? Uh, yeah, it's exciting to be a senior, but it's also weird at the same time because there's no one above you. Um, but I'm getting used to it. Um, so, we already know where you're going to college, Kent State for softball. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for that? I'm really excited. I have a visit this weekend and I know like the girls on the team and who's coming up with me, like all the recruits, so I'm really excited. Uh, are you nervous at all for college softball? I'm very nervous. So do you feel like Campfield High School has prepared you like for college socially and educationally? Um, educationally, yeah, because I feel like we have a good curriculum. Uh, and like athletically, I think so. Our softball team has been good in the past and uh, we face good teams. I feel like it's prepared me pretty well. Okay, so how do you guys feel now that you're seniors? I feel pretty good. Uh, I feel a little bit stressed out about all the applications and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm excited to get out of here, you know? Uh, yeah. How about you, Lauren? Um, I'm a little bit stressed out about ACT, but other than that, everything's pretty good. I'm excited to leave, but also sad, so. Mm -hmm. So, do um, you guys know where you want to go to college? I'm going to go to the University of Cincinnati, um, and I'm thinking about studying uh, engineering, but I'm not sure what kind of engineering yet. So, uh, what made you guys decide to go to college, to, like, to the same college? Well, I went in towards Cincinnati, and I know his brother goes there and really likes it. So that was kind of what had like my interest originally. And um, I toured it, and I really liked it. And I also have some family in Cincinnati, so it would be like I'm away, but I still have family there if I needed them. So. Yeah. And my brother goes there. Uh, he's on his second year right now, so I've been there a bunch, and I really love the campus. And I think they have a great program for what I want to do. So. We all remember our very overwhelming freshman year, so we decided to go and ask some freshmen some questions to see what their first few weeks of high school is like. Is high school what you expected it to be? It's not anything like High School Musical, definitely not. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a big change, but it hasn't been that different. It's better than middle school because they're like constantly helping you and stuff. I expected it to be a lot more work, but so far it seems pretty chill. What are your opinions on the seniors and the juniors? They're nice. Once in a while they're they'll mess around and call them freshmen and like, oh it's freshman, freshman year, like you shouldn't get to do anything. But honestly all the people that I've met have been super nice. I heard that if I sit by them at the lunchroom, they'd be pretty mean, but so far they don't seem so mean and also that they were gonna offer me a ticket to go on an elevator or something <laughs> like that. I expected it to be like first week of school jam packed with homework and like uh having a ton of like work to do and like going around each class and with your books all like messed up messed up and like dropping them in the halls but it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool. Oh hey there. Didn't see ya. It's three something in the afternoon after school and I'm still here working on the show. It's a real grilling process. It's really hard. Anyways this is just a lot of work, so we decided to make something fun and light. So, uh, yeah, enjoy it. What? What do you think of our journalism class? I, I am trying not to think about it. Don't get me started. I mean, it's never on time. 
No one knows what they're doing. It's at least 15 takes. Are you serious right now? What are you doing? Yeah. Nothing. You know, this whole thing has really been super professional. Oh, hi there. Um, my pizza rolls are done. You know, everyone gets their stuff done on time. We know what we're doing. No, this isn't our really? first segment. This isn't our first segment. What is it then? This is like our third. And the shots are perfect. Everyone meets their deadline. It's it's probably gonna be the best episode yet. Nothing really funny about it. <laughs> it's going great. You feel like you failed? We're done. It fails out. I can't do it. I can't. Yeah. Cancel it. Cancel it. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> oh God. Are we productive? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You've tried really hard. This isn't gonna make, we're not gonna make it through this semester, I'm telling you. It's not gonna happen. This is it, if that. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the show. I'm host Natalie Maris. I'm Clay Couture. Good luck to the boys football team tonight against Struthers. Have a great weekend.